So this question says, in the xy plane, a line with equation 2y equals c for some constant c intersects a parabola at exactly one point. If the parabola has equation y equals negative 2x squared plus 9x, what is the value of c? So a couple of things to deal with here. The first thing is that it says that it, these two things intersect at exactly one point. So in order for them to intersect at exactly one point, that means that at that point, they share an ordered pair. So although we have two separate equations, 2y equals c, and y equals negative 2x squared plus 9x, really at the point of intersection, this is a single point, right? So I know that I can convert this 2y equals c into y equals, I'll call it 1 half c, instead of c over 2, same thing. You can call it c over 2 if you'd like. And then I can use substitution to replace this y down here with my 1 half c. So I'd have 1 half c is equal to negative 2x squared plus 9x. I would then move this 1 half c over so I can have this all set equal to 0. So I'd have negative 2x squared plus 9x minus 1 half c is equal to 0. Um, what else do we know? So we also know that, again, I think there's more to be told about the exactly one point thing because this is a parabola. So a parabola, you know, technically there's a lot of places in which a line can intersect at more than one point, right? So a line crossing through can intersect at more than one point. So the fact that it intersects at only one point also means that we only have one solution to this parabola, to this equation, in which case that means I can use the discriminant which is b squared minus 4ac. And I know that b squared minus 4ac in this case is equal to zero because there's only a single solution. There's only one place where the line y equals 1 half c intersects the parabola y equals negative 2x squared plus 9x. Hopefully that makes sense. So we used, we used this bit of information in two ways. We used it to combine the equations here and we, then we also used it to understand that we could figure out a lot about this through, the, through solving for the discriminants because, again, it only intersects at one point. So what do I know about B and A and C? Well, I know that negative 2 is my A value here. B is 9 and C is all of that, negative 1 half C. So I can replace B squared with 81 because 9 squared is 81 minus 4 times A, which is negative 2 times c, which is negative one-half c, all equal to zero. Simplifying this further, negative four times negative two is positive eight, times negative one-half is negative four, so it becomes minus four c equals zero. Um, I would add four c to both sides here and leave me with 81 equals four c. And I can divide both sides by four, in, case, in which case I'd have c equals 81 fourths. So 81 fourths is a perfectly good answer. Of course, you can also you know, actually divide that in your calculator to get a decimal form of the answer, in which case that would be 20.25. But either of these would work.